Hey everybody, today I'm checking in with you to show you my August Midori Traveler's Notebook using my Coco Daisy monthly subscription to the Daisy Dory product. Um, if you've been watching my videos so far this year, then you know that I'm doing one every month. And I'm sort of doing a combination of a planner and a project life sort of mini book. I guess that would be the best way to describe it. On the front, I have my monthly sticker, as well as some fun washi tape. This top washi tape came in the kit, but these other examples are just some that I had lying around. I don't do a whole lot on the first page of the book, but I did mark the day that I went back to work full time. I'm a teacher and the day that the students came back to school. I also included a little uh, tab up there with the month and I put this little, uh, it looks like a, a hairpin to me, but it says work on it. I don't think I could get away with like wearing it in my hair, so I, I saved it for my majority. The next spread is about going back to school because let's face it, that's what August is all about for teachers like me. Here's a selfie that I took. Uh, here's a selfie, a group selfie that I was a part of on the first day of school. I have a few little embellishments that came with this month's kit. The little, um, the little round piece here. I have a sticker and an arrow down here. I added a little word strip that came in this month's kit to the label, but it's pretty simple. I always just close up my calendar pages. Uh, I don't decorate the calendar pages per se. I just write down things that I have to do and, and lists of things that are going on in my life. I cross things out and I make mistakes. So generally when I get ready to show these on video, I just clip them. And this time I'm using the bird clip that came in this month's kit. Here's my little attempt at art journaling, a little bit of sketching. This is a, a picture that I took at Hobby Lobby of a piece of art that I thought was pretty cute. And then here I tried to recreate, a, recreate it a little bit with just uh, colored pencils. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not great, but I'm getting a little bit better, I think. This is a page about football season opening up again for high schools in my state. I'm a big football fan, particularly high school football. And I like to go every week and cheer on our players. Uh, this is the, the tournament game that opens up our season every year. We have it at our local university. And then there's just a picture from the stands. Again, I have a few embellishments. Here's the three by four card. I have a couple of stickers that I used. Some of these things came in this month's kit. Some of these things came in other kit months and other things were just part of my stash. I'm using a little bit more of the floral tape that I love so much here. And then you can also see the little word strip that I used. Over on the right, this was a list that I made one day. Just, you know, this actually is a real planner that I use. And I, I do make lists of things that need to get done. That doesn't mean I always get done, but I, I at least make the list, right? And then over here on the left, I thought it was kind of fun to show a before and after of my dog, Charlie. He desperately needed a haircut when I came home from Europe this summer. And really the first time I could get him in was about the second week of August. So here he is with his very unstructured, messy do. And then here he is with his glamour shot afterwards. This page is a really honest one. So you know, that's something I struggle with. I don't want to be dishonest in my scrapbooking, but I also don't want to dwell on the negative. So I think it's kind of a a hard balance to strike sometimes, but this is a whole page about how my work life is kind of a struggle right now. There are a lot of changes that are happening. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of differences, I guess, in what's expected and, and how I think the staff is, is dealing with that. And, and I could just, I could go into a lot of detail, but that probably wouldn't be very wise. So I journaled over here a little bit about how right now I kind of hate my job, not because of the students, but because of a lot of other things that are happening and that, 
you know, I need to focus on the wins. I need to focus on the good things. Uh, I included a, a selfie that I took in my classroom. I included some of the puffy stickers that were part of this month's uh, kit. I also have another one of those. This is a uh, from the notepad that came. I just thought it was kind of fun to put it. And then this piece that has the triangles on it is from a different notepad. And then I sort of anchor it with the floral tape and then the bird here. It, it's, it's kind of ironic that it's not a very positive page, but it looks super happy because of all the, the colors and the embellishments. So... You know, maybe I'll look back at this in a couple of months and I'll think, oh, what were you complaining about? Things are fine. But it did help to sort of get it out, uh, at least in my Traveler's Notebook. On this page, on this spread, I have a, a, a layout about us attending the concerts in the park. Towards the end of August, I went to concert in the park with Tracy because her husband was playing in my hometown and then the fella met us a little bit later and we were able to enjoy it. It was the first time Tracy and the fella were able to meet each other so that was kind of nice. I think they enjoyed that. I also journaled on some strips of paper that I cut apart. I just thought that that made it a little more interesting than writing directly on the background like I usually do so I was trying to switch it up a little bit. I also have some strips here that were included in the kit. I have some puffy stickers. I think this one may be an old sticker from another kit, actually. And then I, I went with another label and just put a little bit of information there that it was about live music. Here's a listing page. Uh, again, I'm using just a few embellishments, not many, because this one is mostly about the writing. What are some things I want to do at home? What are some things I want to do at school? What are some things I want to do in terms of my craftiness or, you know, my, my personal list? Ideally, I would have gone back through here and like put little check marks or cross things out, but I didn't think that that would necessarily be very aesthetically pleasing. And uh, maybe I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, and I don't want you guys to know that. <laughs> that could possibly be it. Over here, I have a grocery list for mid-month. I mean, I guess it's kind of crazy because who knows if I'll care to look back and see what my grocery list was for that particular week in, you know, five or ten years. But that's real life. I, I needed to make a grocery list. I had this available, and so I used it. Over on this side, I, I like to include the little Coco Daisy uh, cards sometimes in the kit because I think it's cool to remember where the supplies are coming from. I mean, who knows if I'll remember that in the coming years. And down here, I decided to do just a little blurb about my daughter, Kelsey. This was a, a funny little picture that I took of her as she sat at my kitchen counter and talked about wedding plans with me one day after school. She's been spending a lot more time with me lately, I think because she's feeling a little stressed and, and maybe she thinks that it helps to have me as a sounding board. So um, I, I enjoyed having that. And I know that once the wedding is through and, and life is a little bit more back to normal, I'll miss this extra time that, that she's been spending with me. Speaking of Kelsey, this next spread actually focuses on her even though she doesn't live at home anymore she's obviously still a really big part of my life so i think it makes sense to go ahead and include her in my traveler's notebook even if the the focus is on an event that she attended without me i know different people might have different viewpoints on that but you know she's my girl and so i wanted to include some pictures of her Recently, she was a bridesmaid for one of her friends, Laura Beth, and these are some pictures from Laura Beth's wedding that I grabbed from Kelsey's Facebook page. Yes, I'm a Facebook mom stalker, and I just printed them out on my home printer. I knew they probably wouldn't be very good quality since I was grabbing those from Facebook, so I did print them small. I love this picture up here of Kelsey because she looks like a bride in it to me for some reason, so that I thought that was kind of fun. And then on the label, I just put the names of the people who got married so that I would remember that. A little bit of journaling down here, but not a whole bunch. Um, I, I will say, I wish that I had put the little picture over here and the big picture on the other side so that there was more writing on this and it was a little bit more balanced. But I didn't do the journaling the same day that I put the, 
the pictures down and so I wasn't really thinking ahead and I can live with it. It's not going to like keep me up at night or anything. This page is about some resolutions that I'm making. I, I don't just make resolutions in January. I guess I have a tendency to make resolutions all the time because I'm always trying to grow and, and get better and you know work on who I am. So I, I made a whole list of things that I really needed to work on and they are certainly a result of going back to work and trying to get back in the rhythm of you know a full-time job and real life and and not just being on vacation all the time over here on this side i included another one of those uh three by four cards and then i had some little leaf embellishments that i thought were cute i had some washi tape i liked and then a little puffy sticker what I like about this is that this card is a subtle reminder of some of the resolutions that I had over here, so I thought that worked out nicely. The last spread is about a wedding shower that was held for Kelsey and Jake. I was invited, so I really enjoyed that. It was held at her work. She's a dance teacher part-time, and so I included several pictures from there. I journaled a little bit and included some embellishments. And that, my friends, is it for August. It wasn't something that I really worked on during the month of August that much. I really need to start making more time to fit my traveler's notebook into my regular everyday life instead of playing catch up at the end. But I'm not going to beat myself up too much about it because I still think that it's a good record of that month in my life and I'm glad I made it. I'll see you soon. Until then, go and be crafty.